be showing you guys how to change the filament in an Ender 3 3D printer. Let's get straight into it. First step is to turn your printer on. You will go to this menu and then you'll hit prepare. Preheat PLA, but my PLA melts at 200, so I have to go to control, temperature, nozzle, and I have to change it up to 200. So yeah, I'll be back when it's done preheating. Should we make time lapses? Why not? I'm back, we're done with the preheating process. Now we're just gonna pinch here. Make sure your cable stays in there. Pinch here and just simply pull the filament back out. And then you can take the roll off the top, like so. And then you can roll it all back on. Man, this light gets hot. It's only been on for like 30 seconds too. And you gotta be careful with the stringing. If it's stringing a lot, then you can take your diagonal cutters and snip it right here like so. Alrighty, I'll come back to you once I have the, oh wait. And then you can run it through these holes here. Which is kind of annoying to do with one hand. There you go. Now I'll be back with the new roll of filament. Just skipped ahead a little bit. The filament isn't in here all the way, as you can see, but it's up here on the mount. Which you can't see because I'm not in the camera. So now I'm going to simply, I'm sorry if I'm blocking out all the light for a second. There we go. Now we're going to simply push it in here and try to get it in a hole that's on the correspond other side. And we're just gonna keep trying until it goes in. It might take a minute, but once it goes in there like I just got it, you just simply push a bunch of filament through until some starts coming out of the nozzle, which might not happen. You can just wait until you see the color of the filament coming out the whole way of the tube. And then, okay, we're gonna come to the front of the printer now. So the next step is, guys, is you'll see that some filament's already starting to come out over here at the extruder. So the next step is, is we're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna push the button here, and then we're gonna go to prepare. And then we're gonna scroll down a bit to move axis. Then we're gonna go to move one millimeter, and then we're gonna go to the extruder. And we're gonna move it a few millimeters until we see the color of filament that we inserted spitting out constant. Not like a, whatever color you had in it before tint. You're gonna just wait until you see constant of the color, in my case, orange. So, as you can see, I'm gonna use my hand and just pull all the excess away in the background. As you can see, it's orange now, so I've completed this successfully. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If it helped, leave a like. If it didn't help, leave a dislike, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I might do a time lapse today also, you never know. Two in one day? Maybe. Probably not though. And as you can see, we are now printing away with the orange that I just installed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! Oh, by the way, I'm printing a mini puzzle. Let me know if you want a video on that. I'm not time lapsing it though, because it's going to take forever. So, bye! Hello everyone, I just figured I'd make a post video disclaimer saying that I did not design this puzzle cube. It is three of the same piece, it was by Wild Rose Builds. It's a puzzle cube, easy print, no support, I'll have a link in the description. I put it in 50% of the original scale, that would print a little bit faster. And no, it is not going to be in time lapse, but I can do a video showcase in everybody. Just wanted to point that out, though, I don't get in any trouble. Bye.